If you are planning to relocate to Canada through study visa, then this video is going to help you. As we all know, you can relocate to another country through different means, but today I'm going to be talking about how you can relocate to Canada through study visa. And this is like the easiest to relocate to Canada. You know, a lot of people have tried to relocate to Canada, but it seems very hard because when, it, when we're talking about the PR, you know, the express entry and the likes, you know, it seems difficult sometimes. Sometimes you don't meet up to the, you know, the points, the cutoff and all that. Sometimes you don't have all the document and it seems so stressful. Trust me, there is no relocation process that is easy. You just have to put in the work and hope for the best, right? Today, I'm going to be sharing with you things that will help you to relocate to Canada through the study visa. And I'm very sure that this is going to help you. Well, before you continue watching, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share this video with somebody that might need this information. Alright, so let's dive into it. So how do you relocate to Canada through the study visa? Number one, you have to research, you know, the Canadian university that you want to apply to. You have to research, you know, the location, the cost of, you know, living in that area. You have to check out if they have financial support or financial aid or assistance. You have to find out about the schools that you want, this particular school that you want to apply to. You have to know everything about, you know, the school, the environment and everything so that you don't get there and you are stranded or you regret your actions. So you have to make sure that you research. Research is very important in any relocation aspect you have to make the research right and after making the research of the university of your choice the university that you want to go to then number two choose the program and the academics that align with your career goals and you know and what you want to do the one that are relevant to your career goals you know sometimes it doesn't have to be a master's degree it can just be a diploma or any other degree or certifications that is related to what you want to achieve in life your career goals your aspirations and the like so the second thing you need to do is choose a university and choose the program that you want to go for make sure you read the requirements what you're going to need before you go ahead and apply it's very important don't just pay application fee or don't just pay or don't just apply and don't know the requirements or what is going to take you make sure you take your time to read the requirements and you know more about the programs and number three, when you gather the application materials, your transcripts, your letter of recommendations, your statement of purpose, your CV, your essay, you know, your English proficiency test, that is if it's requested for, right? So that is why I said you should verify, you know, the requirements earlier, right? So you have to gather the application materials, make sure you have it complete. And then number four, go ahead and apply. Now that you have all your requirements, you have everything that you need, go ahead and apply and wait for the acceptance wait for them to send your acceptance letter you're going to need your acceptance letter to process your visa application and trust me once you have your acceptance letter um preparing your visa application your study visa and everything is going to be easy if you, because we're getting to canada true study visa it's less you know it's less um difficult on like you know other means right so so once accepted the next thing is to Research study permits requirements because um, the requirement for your application is different from the you know study visa for the visa application. So you are going to familiarize yourself with the requirements that you are going to need. You can visit the official website of the Immigration and Refugee and Citizenship Canada. That is IRCC. You can just Google it. Once you Google it, you can read up you know the requirements and everything that you are going to need. And after doing that, the next thing you are going to do is prepare your financial documents of course you're going to show the proof of you know your finances the amounts that you have in your account and that is popularly called proof of funds so you have to demonstrate that you have sufficient funds to cover your tuition fees living expenses and your return transportation because they expect that after your study you're coming back right so you have to show the proof of funds that yes you are capable of handling this it may involve providing your statement of account your scholarship letters that is that is if you have scholarships or if you are using assistantship or any form of scholarship you have to provide the letters also or other financial documents to support your study you know permit application and next thing that you do after this is just go ahead apply complete just complete the application form pay for the fee for the you know you are going to pay like some amount of money for the study permit fee it's not going to cost you a lot like that and after that go ahead and complete your biometrics and this is the part where you put in your fingerprints and all of that 
Just follow the instruction on the IRCC website to schedule an appointment for your biometrics. Also, make sure you study, you know, you monitor your applications because they might just send you an email to provide any document, you know, while you are just waiting for your permits. So make sure that you monitor your application via mails. And the, once your study permit is approved, you're going to receive a letter of introduction from the visa office. This letter serves as the approval of your study permit and it allows you to travel to Canada and study and then you start planning your relocation pack all your things everything you're going to need make sure you don't forget anything plan your relocation to canada you know prepare your things and everything and then the next thing is you're meant to arrive in canada and then a new life has begun so that is it about relocating to canada through the study visa route right so i hope this is valuable to somebody out there i remain your immigration and job security consultant and expert in professional cv writing feel free to reach out to me if you need more information or inquiries and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like share and please and please and please and please